हेलो वेलकम टू एडवांस सर्वेइंग ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टेम्पररी एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ प्लेन टेबल एंड ओरिएंटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ टेम्पररी एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ प्लेन टेबल व्हाट आर द टेम्पररी एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ प्लेन टेबल फर्स्ट एडजस्टमेंट इज फिक्सिंग द टेबल ऑन ट्राईपॉड स्टैंड द ट्राईपॉड स्टैंड इज प्लेस्ड ओवर द रिक्वायर स्टेशन विथ इट्स लेग well apart then the table is fixed on its by wing nut at the bottom next one leveling the table the table is leveled by spirit level at different corners and various position on the table the bubble is brought to the center of its run at every position of the table by adjusting the legs centering the table the drawing sheet is fixed on the table a suitable point p is selected on the sheet to represent the station p on the ground a pin is then fixed on this selected point the upper point end of the u fork is made in contact with the station p and the plumb bob which is suspended from the hook at the lower end is brought just over the station p by turning the table clockwise or anti clockwise or slightly adjusting the legs this operation is called centering the table is then clamped care should be taken not to be disturb the tail leveling marking the north line the top compass is placed over the right hand top corner with its north end approximately towards the north then the compass is turned clockwise or anti clockwise so that the needle coincide exactly with the 00 marks now a line representing the north line is drawn through the edge of the compass it should be ensured that the table is not turned orientation when the plane table survey is to be conducted by connecting several station the orientation must be performed at every successive station it may be done by a magnetic needle or by the back sighting method the back sighting process is always preferred because it is reliable during orientation it should always be remembered that the requirement of centering leveling and orientation must be satisfiedly done next what is the orientation the orientation is the method of setting up the plane table at each of the successive station parallel to the position it occupied at the starting station is known as orientation what are the methods of orientation first one orientation by magnetic needle method and second one is orientation by back sighting method orientation by magnetic needle this method is suitable when local attraction is not suspected in the area process of magnetic needle method orientation suppose a and b are two stations the plane table is set up at the station a and leveled by spirit level the centering is done by u fork and plumb bob so that point a is just over the station a then top compass or a circular compass box is placed on the right hand top corner of the sheet in such way that the needle coincide with 00 mark after this a line representing the north line is drawn through the edge of compass box the table is then clamped with the alleged touching the point a the ranging rod at b is bisected and a ray is drawn the distance ab is measured and plotted to any suitable scale the table is shifted and center over point b so that 
those point B is just over the station B. The table is labeled. Now the top compass is placed is exactly along the north line drawn previously. The table is then turned clockwise or anticlockwise until the needle coincide exactly with 0, 00 marks of the compass. While turning the table, care should be taken not to be disturb the centering in case it is it should be adjusted immediately. When centering, leveling are perfect and the needle is exactly at 0, 00, the orientation is said to be perfect. Next method is orientation by backsighting. This method is accurate and is always preferred. Procedure for orientation by backsighting method. Suppose A and B are two stations. The plane table is set up over station A. The table is labeled by spirit label and centered by U fork so that the point A is just over a station A. The north line is marked on the right hand top corner of the sheet by top compass. With the alidade is touching A, the ranging rod at station B is bisected and a ray is drawn. The distance AB is measured and plotted to any suitable scale so that point B represents station B. The table is shifted and set up over station B. It is labeled and center so that point B is just over B. Now the LED is placed along the line BA. The ranging rod at A is bisected by the turning table clockwise or anticlockwise. At this time the centering may be disturbed and should be adjusted immediately if required. When the centering, leveling and bisection of ranging rod at station A are perfect, then orientation is said to be perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much.